Hello, my name is Son Nilsson, and in this video, I will show you how you can get your animation data from Spine into Unity. I'm just going to get started here. Uh, go up and click the Spine logo, and then go into Export. And here, there's a couple of things I want to change. I've already created a Unity project, so I want to direct my output directory to that. To that. I'm going to hit Browse here, and we are already in the Unity project. I'm going to go into Assets, and I've created a SpineBoy folder and a data folder. I'm going to use that folder to place my uh, spine data in. So I'm going to se hit select folder here. I'm going to leave the extension as JSON. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, non-essential data unchecked since it's only used if I need to import the JSON data back into spine. And I'll uncheck pretty print as well. Pretty print makes it uh, the JSON easier to read with human eyes, but the file is slightly larger and we don't need it for this video. So last thing to do here on this page here is go into settings. And these are the spine texture pack settings. And it's a couple of things I want to change here. First of all, the Atlas extension name is currently .atlas. I want to change that to .atlas.txt since uh, Unity can't read a .atlas file. And I'm going to change the scale to 0.6. And the reason for that is the uh, images used on this character are uh, pretty high resolution, and we don't need that resolution at runtime. So I'm just going to change the scale to 0.6 here. Last thing to mention is that if you're using meshes, you want to um, uncheck strip white space X and white space Y here. Um, but on this character, we aren't using meshes, so I'm just going to leave that on for now. So I'm going to hit OK and export. So now my uh, data files should already be available to import into Unity. So I've gone ahead and opened up Unity. And if I go up here in the project and expand SpineBoy folder, you can see the data that was exported from Spine is now in place. We have the texture, and we have the SpineBoy JSON file, and we have the SpineBoy Atlas file. But before we can actually start using those, we need to get the Spine uh, runtimes. So if you go to our uh, GitHub page here, which is at github.com slash esoteric software slash spine runtimes. You can download our runtimes from there if you go and click the download zip button. I've already done that, so I'm just going to go to that folder and open up that zip file. I go into it and I just move the uh, data that I need. I'm going to go into Spine Unity assets and take the spine-unity folder here, put it in there, then go back, go to spine C sharp and go into the source folder, create a new folder here, call it spine C sharp and take all the files here and drag them in. Now if I go back to Unity it will start importing the scripts so I'll just uh, wait for that to finish. Should only take a couple of seconds before that's done. There we go. And now if I go up here to click create, you can see we now have spine atlas and spine skeleton data. Now with our runtimes imported into our project, I can actually start creating the Unity assets. So I'm going to right click the SpineBoy folder here, go to create and create Spine Atlas. Right click again, create Spine Skeleton data. And the last thing I need is a material. So I'm going to change that from diffuse to a Spine Skeleton. Now before I start populating any of the properties over here, I'm just quickly going to rename so I'm going to rename this one to Spine Boy Atlas, and then Spine Boy Material, and last Spine Boy Data. Oh, that's data. There we go. Okay, so now I can start populating the properties over here. I'm going to start with the Spine Boy Material. I'm going to drag the texture in here. I'm going to then go to the SpineBoy Atlas, and it takes an Atlas uh, file over here, which is a text asset. So I'm going to drag that up there, and then drag the material up there. And as you can see, it, it fills out the size and sets the material. Then go to data, 
take the Atlas asset, drag it up here, and then the Spine Boy JSON. There we go. And the default is set to a scale of one. And if I were to create the actual um, object here, the character would be very, very large. And if you remember from Spine, I set the scale to 0.6. I want to convert that from pixels to meters. So I'm just going to use a scale of uh, 0.6 divided by 100 to get a scale of 0 0.006. And there we go. Now I can go and create the spine skeleton animation here. If I right click the, uh, oh, sorry, just click create here in the hierarchy and then drag the spine boy data down there. Now, if I wanted to, I could go and create a second character, a spine boy. And so let's just do that. We'll call this right there and drag another one here. It's going to move it. We now have two spine boys here. I'm going to change the animation of the uh, first one to run and the second one to a walk. Now, if I hit play, you can see them both running at the same time. Sorry, let me just set that to be looped, both of them. I'll play again. And you can see we have a walking spine boy and we have a running spine boy. Just gonna stop that and then delete the first one. Go and rename this one to spine boy. Now the skeleton data uh, asset that we created uh, right here loads the skeleton and all the animation data. So you can have multiple game objects that can use the same skeleton data asset. Uh, this means you'll only need to load it once. And the Atlas asset loads the texture Atlas data. This means you can have multi multiple skeleton data assets to use the same Atlas assets. This also allows you to pack multiple skeletons into the same Atlas. Uh, and this can greatly reduce the amount of draw calls that you need to render your game. We're almost done setting up our character now, but if I zoom in a bit here, you can see the uh, there are some texture artifacts going on here. This is quite easy to fix. I'm just going to go and select the spineboard texture. And up here, the texture type is set to sprite. I'm going to change that to be a texture instead and hit apply. And now you can see we no longer have any texture artifacts. The last thing to mention is the format here. The default setting for Unity is to import your texture as a compressed. Um, but there's a problem with that. You see down here our texture is a 1024 by 256. If I wanted to build this for iOS, uh, we would run into some problems because iOS does not support um, compression for texture that aren't square. One way to get around that is to create an write for iPhone and set your format to true color. Another way to get around it was, uh, would be to export your texture from Spine as a square um, texture. So it would be a 1024 by 1024. I'm just going to remove the write here and go and change my uh, default format from compressed to true color and hit apply again. So I hope you've uh, found this video helpful and I hope to see you uh, in the future for more spine videos. Bye for now.